As Jimmy just mentioned, our multi-purpose category consists of warehouse, flex, and R&D space. The largest submarket here is the RTP submarket with 27 million square feet, of which about half of that is warehouse space. The warehouse submarket, RTP submarket, has been very active. We've had about 320,000 square feet constructed in 2016, and we're projecting 175,000 square feet to be delivered in. 2017. Our current vacancy is about six and a half percent. It goes without saying that this submarket is a landlord's market. Rental rates are going up and concessions are going down. The R&D and flex component of the RTP submarket is a completely different story. We've had a couple of end users give back a lot of space. DuPont and GSK, GlaxoSmithKline, has given back a million square feet. And the result of that is, it, is it's pushed up the vacancy to about 16%. If you combine the warehouse flex and R&D and the RTP submarket, we come up with about 11% vacancy. Another real active submarket is East, East being East Raleigh, Nightdale, going toward Zebulon. That market consists of about 10 million square feet of warehouse flex and R&D space. The warehouse vacancy is about 7%. The flex and R&D space is 8.5%. We've had the most absorption in this submarket of, of any in our market with 385,000 square feet absorbed. Currently, we're in East Raleigh right now in Raleigh's largest and oldest industrial park. East Park is the name of, of the park. Uh, we're standing here in front of a 160,000 square foot warehouse, uh, really the last site to be developed in East Park. This building's been developed by a local developer, uh, Brookwood Capital Partners, in partnership with Scannell Properties. Uh, some of the features here are 30-foot clear ceilings, 140-foot truck court, wide column spacing, and the high-end sprinkle system. This is an example of the 900,000 square feet of warehouses that have been developed in this market. So who leased space in 2016? Well, you can put the, the two different users in two different baskets. You've got e-commerce and you've got construction supply distributors. E-commerce being Amazon and the people who do business with Amazon, FedEx, UPS, and DHL. So who's going to lease space in 2017? It's not going to be the e-commerce companies. They had a big run in 2016. If residential construction stays active, we'll continue to see leasing from construction supply distributors all throughout 2017.